Well, 30 men, including four active military Fort Hood soldiers, are arrested in the latest prostitution sting, this time between the Bell County Sheriff's Office and the Temple Police Department. Tonight, Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza tells us why this sting is so significant. This is the Bell County's fourth prostitution operation and the largest of its kind. This time arresting one active military Fort Hood soldier who brought duct tape, rope, and even a body bag with him. What were his intentions? We don't know. But I think we probably prevented another serious crime from occurring inside the city limits temple. 24-year-old Tyler Willison is only one of 30 men arrested during a two-day prostitution sting in Temple. We are uh, actively trying to attack crime on all fronts, whether it's prostitution, violent crime, or property crimes. He and three others are Fort Hood soldiers. I, I would say it's certainly not good for their military career. <laughs> there are also three undocumented immigrants. Uh, I already put a hold on them. So once they're done with their, their charges here, they'll be deported. 13 are Temple residents. We have to understand that uh, our criminals don't stop at their city limits. And the rest from all over Central Texas. We never reach out to them. They always reach out to us, and that's how the communication starts. The men, who range from 17 to 57 years old, all face prostitution charges, which are Class B misdemeanors, but many received other charges. Also drug charges, drug paraphernalia, and we did have one that with felony controlled substance. All except four are out on bond. So as long as they're continues to be a problem like this, we're going to continue operations like this. Investigators say this was a great success, but an even better one would be if they caught no one. These people are, are not good for our community, so yes, it was a success, but doggone it, I wish there was no need for us to do this. Officials hoping this latest prostitution sting will let other people know that they can and will get caught. In Belton, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.